but maybe I get, I'll get kicked out of the room first uh, with a, such a title. Um, Bass is dead. Uh, we've just heard two, two talks which were pro cloud. Um, I'll, I'll dive into, into that a bit. A uh, little bit about myself, Antoine Cossé. Um, I'm the CEO of Exoscale. If you don't know, what we do is uh, we build a, a service provider in Switzerland uh, offering a, a cloud native uh, uh, cloud infrastructure for cloud native teams. Uh, data centers in, in Geneva, in Zurich. Uh, this, this I've been uh, um, doing the acting as CEO since uh, 2011. Um, by training, I'm, a, I'm an engineer at art, and more a system engineer, sysadmin, um, and I regularly tweet on, on Twitter about my feelings about this ecosystem and, and industry. Pass is dead. It, it's a true affirmation, but uh, don't, don't, don't shoot me just yet. <laughs> I don't want to get upset with um, yeah, good partners here from uh, Application Cloud Swisscom, Apuyo from, from friends at uh, uh, Puzzle I, ICT and, and Vision. Uh, just give me, some, give me five minutes to, to explain. Uh, first, w what do I mean? What do we mean by, by uh, platform as a service? Um, well, one thing is that uh, platform is such a large word. I mean, just I just looked it up in, in, the, in the dictionary and, and in some definitions, you, you get like 15 lines, 15 different definitions for this word. It just doesn't mean uh, truly a lot in terms of, um, in terms of uh, IT. Uh, this is the best that, that applies. Um, a specific type of computer hardware, computer equipment. The, the word specific is, is important. We'll get into, into, into that in a moment. Um, what I mean by pass is pass as um, like it was invented, um, like um, we can put names here, like Iroku being one of the uh, first and largest players. So, so I mean, uh, pass by being a, mostly the public pass, by uh, being this ecosystem that has been built around uh, build packs, um, uh, that has a proprietary orchestration, which, um, which is good, and that uh, offer this no ops uh, promise to, to, to developers. So, those platforms as a service, they, they were designed to be uh, really developer-centric. Uh, that's that, that's the, the only thing they, they had in mind. We're not talking about DevOps, it's uh, developer, developer, developer. Uh, just get rid of your operations, you just put your code there, and, and, uh, and everything will run fine. Um, how, do, how does this work for those that um, played with it? A typical pass workflow is, is really uh, from the developer seat. Um, you code your, your app um, from your uh, versioning system. You you commit, uh, and then you instruct your your pass. I did I mean, every pass as a as a CLI tool of some sort. We have our own. Um, you you basically uh, push it to the platform as a service, uh, then instruct to, to deploy it, and then you can play with it. You can, uh, it's running and you can scale it up and down. Uh, as, uh, as you that's the, that's the, the promise and the, and, and the beautiful world of, uh, of, uh, of platform as a service. What really the, does the past do in the, in the back end? And, and this is where we, we'll start to see the first um, maybe the downfalls of this model, and, and, uh, and, and why I actually state that it's 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 dead now. Um, first, it builds the application for you. That, that's great. That's a it, that's a good thing. But it's done on a closed way. It's hardly a process that you can um, yeah, reproduce locally, um, because it's done by uh, by the service provider, by the technology that that, that does it. Um, so that can bring um, constraints for sure. It, it brings um, a lot of super questions to, to us. Um, second thing it will do in, in this, uh, in this uh, push and, and deploy process, it will um, launch all the necessary middlewares for you. Um, but maybe not exactly the middlewares that you want or the, the versions that you want. Uh, if you want custom, then you have to dive into really, really complex stuff to, to get your own stack. That's a, a, an, another aspect that's um, often 
stated by several brothers being not, not the team. Um, and it does the, solves the issue of um, pushing the code, building an app, and, and making this available. Um, and then it connects all to, to those databases and add-ons that you want to use in your service. Um, but it doesn't handle the state issue very well. I mean, um, once you have your, your database running, you still need to do some DA, you still need to migrate this schema, and etc. And those are hard tasks when you need to do it at scale and in production. They, they are nice when you're doing a POC and, a, um, uh, and, and you can just throw away your content. Um, but when you're doing a true runtime, it does raise a, raises a few issues. Um, had it um, downfalls of, of public paths as, we, as we've known it? I would say expensive as being the number one. At pricing of those services, um, it's five, ten times more expensive than the, the same amount of like memory that you'll get on a um, on an infrastructure service. It's true that it's it's often biased because uh, what you buy from a platform as a service is only the memory or the CPU that is needed for your code and not for the full stack, <coughs> the runtime, etc. It's it, uh, but still, people compare uh, pass and yes, and often uh, state that uh, <coughs> uh, it's it's more. <coughs> it's often seen also deemed insecure. Uh, many things to all the database and, and plugins issue um, that that's uh, our problem to to solve. Uh, but also, uh, how do you solve? Um, other problems such as true IOT, not just uh, locally, um, multi zones, etc. Uh, they, they are not super flexible to, to, to deal with those. You want proof? Yes. Uh, let's make some names here. I mean, those are a few, a few logos. Um, you, you know them. Um, some, some. Uh, not far away from us, uh, Ninefold, that, that was an Australian provider that they got acquired back by a telco, uh, instructed all their customers to please migrate to, uh, to my uh, infrastructure service. No, Jitsu, that's now fully um, uh, also acquired by Kodai, I, I believe. It's they instructed all their customers to uh, to stop doing everything. Um, Starter.io doesn't exist anymore. Starbase completely pivoted. They, 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 are, they used to be the, the best uh, uh, Java platform as a service. Now they, they really are uh, uh, focused into, uh, into CI and, and uh, as a service, basically what you get now. Um, Dot Cloud is the very guys that invented Docker. That was their first business. They stopped this. They stopped Dot Cloud. Um, Engine Yard, too, I, I recently heard rumors that they're not going so well. Uh, we, we can add more to this list. Uh, it's a small list, but there's, there's one I particularly want to uh, to talk about. Uh, but maybe yeah. also one thing is that there's been few updates and, and announcements uh, since, since one year. I mean, if, even if you look at Heroku, they didn't <coughs> change their um, their, their uh, model. They, they changed the way that the dinos are are, are built. Um, so very less uh, innovation on this front uh, since um, since uh, some time. Uh, but this is an inside story. Uh, uh, one of the, the providers that was one of the largest one in, in Europe, Cloud Control. Uh, and and this I can really talk more about it because this company that we acquired recently, um, we acquired them because they, yeah, uh, they had outstanding attributes. Uh, I mean, the orchestration technology was great. Uh, they, they had the guys there had built, um, um, I mean, it leveraged all the container thing, um, even before Docker, right? it's full LXCC groups, uh, auto scaling was, was easy to do, it was the full uh, immutable um, deployment schema that, that, that's in all best practices books. It's the true no ops platform, you just push your code and then uh, you scale it up and down with the promise on all, only paying what you use. Um, so that looks very good on paper, but the, 
economics of this model just didn't work. Um, for me, several reasons. Um, support. Lots of questions um, for by novice users. Um, lots of debugging needed because people just can't actually uh, see exactly what's going on for by, by the app. Even if you provide them with an SSH connection, it's still closed. Uh, um, kind of an orchestration layer. Mostly useful for typing. So uh, small projects, uh, pet projects. The customers that really grow the platform, they eventually move to infrastructure as a service. We've seen that um, numerous times. Um, for the information, we have also been running on Exoscale um, cloud control technology for, for the last two years. So we have um, um, also business uh, return from that, plus the intelligence that we got from acquiring the, the cloud control company. Um, marketplace issue, a pass on its own doesn't it is of no use if there's not, not an ecosystem of add-ons, databases, um, log management system, etc. that connects to it. If this marketplace is small or inexistent, then it's fairly limited into its usage. Another thing is that when you dive a bit deeper, you, you struggle to find really development teams either in startups or, um, or in larger uh, enterprises that are really, um, um, really embrace the 12-factor app uh, mechanism that, uh, that are, that, are um, uh, that fit well with platform as a service. And the last aspect also is something that we cannot deny, is that the rush of the uh, microservices and, and Docker objects. So, um, What's what's next? <laughs> that that's that's a big question. I mean, um, for me, those uh, um, those public paths as they exist, they, they, they don't have an economic future. I mean, we we also tried. It doesn't work. So what what can we do then? But we can do platform as a service again. <laughs> Just call it differently. Um, and, and this is what uh, everybody is, uh, I think, um, um, pivoting to, to do at, at the moment. So the pass is shifting to from a public pass, so this experience of um, Iroku and, and the others, uh, towards a private pass. It's a model that fits maybe two kind of population. One is large enterprises. Um, for them, they really have, want the benefits of those uh, really constrained systems like you know, being Iroku or cloud control graphs, uh, build packs, etc. But they, they want it on their private infrastructure, whether it's it's uh, uh, on on premises or with a um, uh, with a, uh, a <coughs> private infrastructure service or managed hosting partner. So those guys they deploy um, platform. They like Gelastic, there's a bunch of software that, that can do that for you, and it's good. It's good because it brings this, um, this those best practices inside large development teams, like 200, 300 developers that can really work together. Um, in, instead of sharing paper with, uh, oh, this is the guidelines of how to develop an application for the enterprise, they share a tool, and, and then the, the rules are really much, uh, much more enforced. That's that's work. That works, and it's. Obviously, a fast model, and then those companies they, they just don't leverage. Uh, we haven't seen them leverage uh, pure public pass uh, platforms. Even uh, Europe itself was uh, position. They, they tried. Uh, they don't, they don't have, we don't have any references of large uh, enterprise application running there. It's it's mostly just smaller services, uh, connectors to uh, uh, to Salesforce, uh, CRM, and, and ERP, and, and that's it. The, the other part are the, the web companies, the cloud natives. Um, this is a different kind of now private pass. They, they, what, what I call maybe a bring your own, bring your own, <laughs> bring your own uh, anything now. Uh, so it's it's the tools like uh, Kubernetes, Rancher, uh, DCOS from from the guys at um, Mesosphere. Um, what they're thinking is something that's portable and scalable. Um, and they can use really the same stack on their laptop, 
on the development environment, on the QA environment, on production environment. So they can move the stack from any cloud to another cloud. It's, it's completely agnostic to the infrastructure. And the big difference is that they want to have an end on the operation. They have the resources, they have the minimum size required to have an ops, an operation team in house. Uh, so this is where we achieve the true DevOps balance. I mean, the code ships with the same definition, the definition with the app, and also for uh, all the, the operation, uh, maybe the, the definition of the cluster in, um, in Kubernetes or, or, or days or, or, or whatever. This is why um, containers came to the rescue to, 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 to this world. Um, we can see the model of Um, infrastructure as a service, we know this very well, it's the OS and above, it's all the responsibility of the, of the customer. Platform as a service, you do the promise of no apps, you just manage, you put your app, put your code there, put your Java, and we'll do, any, we'll do everything, we'll do Tomcat, we'll do the, the GRE for you, we'll, we'll build it. Uh, um, doesn't, doesn't work at scale. So this new private pass, container as a service, I don't like the word container because it's really too restrictive or do-it-yourself pass is really something in the middle, something where uh, due to con containers, um, the, the developers, the DevOps, the sysadmins, they can choose the operating system they want. Even if they run on a CentOS um, infrastructure as a service, they, they can have a container that, that's built on a Ubuntu stack. Um, they can have their own version of the, the GRE and not as one that's purely specified by the build pack that the service provider uh, brings, and et cetera, and et cetera. That's the flexibility that we see um, customers want uh, nowadays and, and are actually deploying. Um, so what we see is that past, the, the original past, that they brought very high constraint on the, on the application. Um, that doesn't work at, uh, at scale, business-wise. So what we see is that the less uh, constraint on the app is less constraint on, on, on the developer and those, and it's, it's kind of freedom. That's what we, we give to them. It apparently also solves all the perceived issue. Number one, remember, was the price. Why? Because this just runs on top of yes, and, and we've, we've reached a a point now where infrastructure as a service is, is really the community that Thomas was speaking about. I mean, it's, um, uh, it's getting cheaper and cheaper, and it's uh, it's really now um, uh, competitive across all geographies and and and, um, and providers. So you have you have you have a, you have a choice here to 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 leverage the best platforms there for for your need. Um, it's something that's fairly recent, if you, in red, um, Docker, Google Trend, and in, in blue, microservices, Google uh, Trend Search. Uh, so that's something that only picked up uh, almost a year ago. So it's, it's changing at, at, uh, at, at a crazy pace. Um, this is the picture where I compare the two models. Um, this is traditional pass, closed ecosystem where the routing, so that's where all you get all the load balancing, etc. The orchestration, that, that's the platform that uh, takes your app, um, or do, does the build, um, deploys it on, on the, the containers and, and, and runs it, makes sure it, it works, connects it to, to the database and you just bring your code to the build factory, uh, as we've seen in the workflow. Um, so it's mandatory everything. You need to use all the pieces that, that that are um, provided by the platform as a service. So this new model, um, private pass, do it yourself, um, uh, bring your own pass or do it yourself pass, it's, it's very much different. You, you take the PC that you want, first you split your app into microservices, and you can select the route. You, you can use the one provided by the pass, or you can just uh, build your own. I mean, you easy to to, to reach your practice in containers and, and get get going, or you can leverage the service provider one if, if it has one already. Um, code and build factory, same thing. Orchestration tools, same thing. If you 
Kubernetes, Rancher, we, we've talked about those. And databases, that, that's the real our problem that PASS never solved. I mean, it's easy to solve the problem of, uh, of just building an app, but this tech issue is, is another one. Um, just a little bit about our strategy. I'm, I'm opening our, our books and, and what we intend to do. Um, it's, it's been um, something we've, we've learned from the market. Um, first thing we're doing with um, EchoScale, since we acquired um, Cloud Control, is um, unfortunately we are uh, sunsetting this, this offering, so we are no longer uh, offering a um, platform as a service like it was to, to our customers. It's still running for those that, uh, that are running, but um, um, you can no longer um, um, just log into our website and, and get going with the, with the standard Heroku build pack and, and, uh, and, and deploy it. And what we are in the process of doing is just the picture I was presenting before. It's, it's giving the choice to, to, to users, to developers. Uh, we're offering the, basically the building blocks. So um, infrastructure as a service, this we had already. Um, you need two, the, the two working pillars that you need to compute, fast computing that you can throw away. Um, so you don't care what's running there. I mean, you, you'll just continue to talk about it. So. It, it's really becoming a full, full, full commodity. Object storage, that's where you store all your, your assets. And what we have done in the past, we had uh, past, not past, uh, we had also some tools to help developers in their day-to-day -day operations. So uh, DNS, full, um, full DNS service that you can manage with an API, a status page service, and, and other small services that, um, that, that bring, um, that um, help in the, in the ecosystem. Um, our strategy is this, is to um, have, we have the YAS, the infrastructure as a service is, is a, a good fit for, um, for the hosting of um, microservices or the database and this can be uh, all orchestrated by um, uh, all the tools that, that are being, becoming available out there. So it, either if it's an OpenShift, Rancher, Kubernetes, or the CoreOS ecosystem and etc. There are tons of them. We make sure we are compatible with uh, each, uh, um, each one of them. And it's up to the customer to, to bring their own. Um, and as for routing and code factory, uh, this is what we are in the works of doing. Um, so routing engine, uh, this is uh, actually a joint project that we are doing with, um, uh, with Thomas T. And, um, uh, so it's uh, to bring elastic IP, elastic load balancing, but it, you're not obliged to use it. You can use it. You can just deploy your own. So that's work in progress. I don't have a, a due date for this yet, but the first service that will, uh, will be available um, uh, soon, uh, so this summer, will be a registry service. So it's, it's a, the first part when you, you want to push your containers, you need some some place to uh, host your, your, your containers to build them on a regular basis. So it will be up close to the infrastructure. Um, it will, of course, be built as a service as you use it um, and, and have this um, uh, concept of uh, organization and, and teams where you can have a, um, separate projects, separate rights. Uh, so that's a beta soon. Uh, you can expect to, to play with it. So. Um, I hope I didn't deceive too, too many people uh, with this pass. <laughs> pass is dead, but pass is live, but with a new, a new format, new tools. Um, so how long will it last? We've seen the pass, uh, public pass uh, being really a uh, lifetime, uh, really, uh, really small, um, 2008, 2009, uh, until uh, till 2015. How long till the next revolution with those containers and microservices? That's an open question. Thank you. Um, maybe uh, we have some minutes for remarks, please.
Uh, and surely, yes. Uh, that, that's that's a request that we, we, we get asked uh, quite often. It's the same for databases. Those are the two parts where, where people want help. Here is more business decision. Uh, we don't want to step into the, 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 the plate of our partners. So anything that's managed services, we just hand over to, to our ICT partners in, in the ecosystem. But we, I mean, if you if your company providing those services, I'll be happy to connect and and, uh, and uh, we just won't do it. Um, Exoscale is uh, we are service providers. We uh, the idea is to operate a large infrastructure with the smallest amount of people possible. Um, so it will be a complete different design for. Or maybe a different business to, to, to build, uh, to, to, to manage services. So that's the reason. But it's 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 a request we have very often. Very much. Thank you. So, uh, uh, ah, yes, please. Uh, I, I'm not really sure if I got the, the message of, of past is that because. That's exactly that. That because if you impose the pass, I mean, we try, and it's a struggle, and other providers are struggling, and many of them are closed. Um, so yeah, because th th this works very well in the beginning. Prototyping. I mean, people are super happy. You take the example of this git commit. You you push you deploy. Oh, it's running, and then you want. Then you customize, and then you have this operation problem, and then there's this request, and you want to customize uh, the reverse proxy of the routing engine, and then it starts to be a nightmare. It's it's a nightmare for the service provider, and, and it's it's you need to either have an outstanding documentation that even with that, and people don't <laughs> that yeah. to the extent, and, and and then you have to do massive support on something that you don't manage. You don't even have the source code to, to the hat that the, the, the customer is trying is pushing on you should look to it. Right. I, it's, I, it's really difficult. But many of these points come to an extent where I need to have discussion with the developer. Um, if I have developers um, who write applications which run on Tomcat eight point three but on eight point four they need to have fiber. But then you're doing something Trust me, that's that's what's come to us. I mean, Exoscale is more than 2,300 customers now. We have some, some it's, it's, it's not an Amazon, but we have some some background. Um, and, and I'm, I'm a true believer of, of what PASS is. I mean, I, I really love the fact that it brings constraints to to the, to the developer, and I'm I'm really looking for large large companies like UBS. If you if you are embracing a I don't know, a Cloud Foundry or, or any platform like this that brings really a true uh, framework to the enterprise. That, that's good. But as a public offering, um, we try. Just didn't find the right recipe, it just doesn't work. Le giving the choice to, the, to our users, that seems to work, and, and we have um, proof of that too. Thank you very much. Maybe in the break, you will have the possibility to continue. Thank you very much for your uh, talk. And now